Hi crafty friends and welcome to another Tell More Stories layout. I already did this layout back in January using the Begin Story Kit by Ali Edwards. I used um, the Begin Word Art paper and I think I just um, saturized it to make it kind of gray because the other colors were popping already so I just wanted to you know have a more subtle background. I used the 123 Story uh, Journal card and added a fourth um, piece to it for my journaling. I also used the Just Start Where You Are journal card as well as parts of the Ready to Begin journal card from that kit. And then I have four photos of my son as he was going to his first um, summer camp and yeah, just made sure that yeah, I just masked the photos onto the 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 journal pieces to have um the same size for my photos. So putting everything into fast forward mode here because this is going to be um yeah, a quick layout, everything is going to come together pretty pretty quick. Um Yeah, so my plan is to hide the journaling um, underneath the photos and to use breads um, so that you can slide the, the photos up and you can read the journaling. So and I believe I'm making three rows. Uh, three rows, no, two rows with three um, journal pieces or journal card pieces and um, yeah, the photos on top. So I'm just making sure I put everything where I want it. Of course the kitty cat is there as well and I'm using my corner chumper to round the corners of my photo and the journal the journal pieces. And I'm adhering the journal pieces um down and I think for the green um card as well as the you know just start where you are journal card I'm using um foam adhesive to pop that up a little bit. So as you can see I'm just layering the, the journal piece and the photo on top of each other and then I round the corners I don't really remember how I did that zero four on the fourth journal um, piece since the one two three the story journal card only had numbers from one to three. Um, I think I used one of the chipboards, but I'm I'm not sure. It's too long ago. So the story is about my son who went to his first summer camp in. 2020 um, he didn't really want to go I just forced him and he loved it so I guess mama knows best right so yeah those were the days when I was still using foam foam dots now I'm more about um foam tape. I'm also using um, the, the puffy, the slim puffy stickers from the story, no, from the Storytelling Basics collection to write out the word, um, yeah, summer camp. In German it's Ferien camp, just so you know. <laughs> and yeah, the letters were a bit 
um, yeah, I had to move them around to fit the words or the yeah the words onto that small piece of journal card here. And then I'm just adding the date when we dropped him off. Yeah, and also using, I think these were from the December Daily collection. I just added um, the number one for his first um, yeah, summer camp. And then again, I'm adding the date stamp in just a little bit. So the fun thing is that summer camp was right here in our small town. Like I live in a little suburb and we have a castle, a very small castle here. And they do um, yeah, camps in spring, summer, winter, fall. So that's really fun that it's close by. So um, yeah, I can walk there in five minutes. So whenever there's a problem. I can get there really fast. So, like I said before, um, the final step here is to add the date stamp. And I forgot that I had already put that um, summer camp tag onto foam adhesive. So, I had to get my tweezers out to make sure that the date stamp is actually, um, you know, on the paper yeah because you know the the I had to yeah push the paper up so it it would get in contact with the stamp if that makes sense yeah and that's that's about it a very fast and quick layout with some interactive elements um my son has been to four camps so far or until now and is going back in the summer for his fifth time. So really looking forward to it. Again, you can see how you can just pull up the photos and you see the journaling and can read it. That's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this little uh, process video and... I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.